Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks again for joining me on another dungeon guide and walkthrough. Today we'll be doing Cavernon. So for those of you who do not know where Cavernon is, it is directly, well, if we're using the UO map, we need to tilt our heads this way a little bit, uh, but it is directly east of Andaria. So right over here where I'm clicking now is Andaria. You can hit the moon gate. Uh, which is just south of it there and you're going to run on down one of these pathways through the mountain come on out over here cycle all the way up and around or i believe you might be able to come on out down here then go all the way up and around up to cavernon where i am now it's a little bit of a hike so uh i recommend maybe hitting the outpost moon gate hitting the ruined book library there and recalling with a recall scroll shift gating whatever you can do to get here without running it's going to take you a few minutes all right, so let's hop on into it real quick. I've done Cavernom a few times now, mainly for societies. Um, I've explored level one. It's just a giant circle. A few snow elementals, some witches that summon some skeletons. Um, again, like every other video, level one's level one, guys. Uh, it's something to check out if you haven't been here before, but 50, 100 gold here and there, nothing special. Uh, I'll kill a frozen dead for you, one of the witches. Just to show you that these mobs here are the witch summons. All they do is heal the witch. They don't drop anything, which is going to drop roughly 100 gold most likely. 130, a few regs. Most of the things in here are very similar. Let's say skip level 1 unless you're not aspected or maybe aspect level 1 or 2, low codexes. Uh, make your way on down to level 2. Level 2 is, if we're using the UO method again, tilt your head this way west of the entrance on level one and if you're not really following along with my directions don't feel bad <laughs> i confuse it all the time cardinal directions versus uo directions i don't know why they don't have the map straight cardinal direction oriented but they don't so all right level two there's some nagoids there's some air drakes white wormlings uh everything you're seeing here is going to drop roughly 150 to 250 gold there's nothing too difficult. I'll try and find one to kill for you real quick, but keep in mind, I am aspect tier 13 air. I'm gonna kill pretty quickly compared to others who don't have a high aspect. So uh, as most of you are aware, my videos are aimed at helping newer players find their way around dungeons and pick where to farm. So Cavernom 2 is a pretty good spot. I don't think any of these mobs are too difficult. We'll go after the first Nagalid. Looks like roughly 600 health, 150 gold. Spawn all over the place here. Looks like I'm not going to get too many kills right now. It's pretty packed for some reason. Might be a society. Uh, the best spot to farm on to is right up here, this big old circle area. You're going to have some form of ice elementals that spawn. I think they drop about 300 gold a piece. Scorpions, roughly 200. Yeah, these rhinestone corpses here, about 300. I think there's about five spawns of them here. Uh, rhyme spirits, maybe 100 gold, maybe a little more. Nothing too crazy. Same thing with the hoarfrosts. If you are farming this location and you're not a high tier aspect, I would avoid the very middle uh, only because this guy really isn't worth killing, but we're going to do it anyways for the sake of the video. The rhyme spirit champion. Man has a ton of armor and quite a bit of health, so he takes a little bit of time to take down. If you're like me and don't pay attention, you're gonna get hit by his AOE abilities or he just knocked me back. I don't think that's avoidable. And with this many mobs on me, as a Dexer, I'm just gonna go defensive and chunk him down for a little bit. It would help if I started my healing macro too. And I'm sure you Dexers are like me and forget from time to time. It's usually when I log in again for the first time. <laughs> so it does happen. But yeah, Rhyme Spirit Champion, just to show you, I don't think it's worth killing unless you're a higher tier aspect. I mean, I even procced on it and it's still alive, so. All right, 559 gold. Essentially a vampire in the mausoleum. Uh, vampires are gonna take you about half the time to kill though. So yeah, level two for the most part. These guys are all good to kill if you're a lower tier aspect. We've got a naked big data here, poor guy. Let me see if he needs some help. Oh, looks like he's got his stuff back. Oh, I think he's good. All right, we're going to get a move on to level three then, guys. If I remember the way. 
I don't frequent Cavernom. I mean, I like it, but it's not my favorite dungeon. I find there are better farms out there, but it's a very good one, nonetheless, worth doing. But yeah, level two, great farm for those who are uh, fairly new, maybe aspect tier one or two. And let's get to the meat of it. Let's get on into the level three mobs. You're going to get some Cave Gorgers, uh, Dracolisk. You're looking at three to 600 gold a kill. Pretty good farm. Mobs aren't too difficult. Great spot to start. You're just going to want to watch out for any reds coming in. When they come in through two, they're coming right through there. They're going to see you immediately. There's not really anywhere to run. So unless you're prepared to deal with some reds, might want to move on from this location. The winter weeds, these plants, 150, 200 gold. They'll bleed you, maybe disease you. Nothing crazy. Pretty easy to handle. Very similar to the mobs on level two. Uh, but if you find cavern on three is pretty crowded, definitely a spot to hit up real quick. All right, so let's head on up to the uh, drakes, white worms, dragons. And on the way up there, I'll show you some of these other mobs here and what to look out for. Barbed prowler. There you go. Shooting spikes up in the air, hoping to fall down on you. Most of the time, um, you should be able to avoid them if you're not backtracking like I was. They're very similar to the Angelic Stoneworks in SSC. Throw something up in the air like so, drop down you, cause a bleed. I'm in defensive stances right now, so I'm not taking too much damage. If you're low aspect, you don't have high armor, you'll take quite a bit of damage from that. But 300 gold there, you can get about the same on the Bulvor. I think this guy charges. Avoid the charge, you should be fine. Nothing special there. And then let's get the Prowler as well, or Lurker. Lurker's gonna vomit on you. Have fun with that. Um, it's just it's similar to like the demon uh, in Mausoleum, the reanimated ones, and then I believe the uh, calamities just spitting stuff at you. Not too scary at all. Uh, but roughly two to four hundred gold in all these mobs here. You don't really have to avoid too much besides the prowler dropping the uh, needles on you and the charge from the bulwar, unless you're a higher tier aspect. All right, so up here we're gonna get some white worms. Uh, some air dragons, and you're going to have, I believe this is side room. I've never been in. Let's go explore it, guys. <laughs> believe it or not, I haven't been everywhere. Okay, so we got spirit soldiers. We've got one spirit knight. There's some chests down here. For the sake of seeing how much gold they drop, let's kill this here. Lucky proc. Great. Let's get some cleaves in. These guys have a ton of armor. I don't think it's a lot of health, but... A lot of armor. So as a dexter, you're not doing too much damage unless you can uh, break that armor down. But, all right, what do we got here? The core, 500 gold. Okay, guys, this spot might be worth farming, actually. Especially if you're just doing rounds through Cavern and working societies. Let's take a look. I don't want it to be a fluke, so I'm going to try to take down a couple more mobs for you real quick. This reminds me of the uh, level two room in Moz, also the level two room in Ossuary. Just secret rooms to go into, take a look real quick if stuff's up, hit it, if not, whatever, but most of the time it should be up. And this is the guy I'm most curious about killing, the Spirit Knight. All right, so the soldiers drop about 550 a piece, the skirmishers are about 250, 300, and what are we gonna get with the Knight? Let's take a look, I bet he charges. No? No charge? All right. What's he got? Um, I haven't seen a single special move from this guy yet. <laughs> kind of a pushover, actually. 500 gold. Yeah, okay. So this room right here, you're looking at two soldiers, one knight. 1,500, maybe 1,650. And two of the skirmishers for roughly 550 gold. Not bad. Easy 2100, 2200 gold. Not difficult at all. Especially if you're a summoner. Or tamer. Or bard. Or anything but pure dexter that isn't a high aspect. Alright, let's go after these white worms real quick. White worm AoE is just some frost cone. Similar to the ember dragon shooting fire out at you. Um, I'm not in full defensive stance, but I do have Bulwark going and tier 13 air armor. So, uh, if you're not highly armored or have uh, high defense, probably going to take 20 to 30 damage from those AoEs. I took 29. Bulwark wasn't activated. Defensive stance wasn't activated. The only thing that was was my air armor reduction around 21%. So yeah, maybe 35 damage without any damage reduction. 
500 gold a kill, some gems. White Worms aren't too bad. Air Dragon's even easier, but very similar AoE type of damage. Similar health. Rhinoceros Beetles, these guys are pretty cool. Um, good tanks if you're a tamer. They have quite a bit of health and quite a bit of armor and drop about 600 gold. Let's see if I can find one for you that's alive. I'd really like to. I actually think these are some of my favorite mobs down here. I don't know. I'm just a fan of the beetle. Lamora's great taming pets. I think they're the best one slot tank pet from what I understand, especially at the high level. They're not hard to kill at all. They don't drop a ton of gold, but they're great tamer pets. So we're in the center of level three now. Uh, there's a couple Moongate locations. We ran by one earlier uh, in between the dragons and then the prowler and the cave gorger or ice gorger. Maybe not Gorger. What is this, the Lurker? Yeah, Ice Lurker, the, the Prowler, and the Bulbor. Same type of mobs over here. The only difference is you're going to run into the Gorgers. You're going to get some Yetis. And then uh, going up this way, some Demons and some Dragon Lizard looking people. Um, the further up you get this way, the more gold you're going to get from your kills. These Arch Fiends, they're no pushovers. They're about five to 600 gold a kill. Usually pretty camp, camped along with these avalanches, same thing. I don't know if you guys have been out to any of the new zones and seen some of the trees that throw AOE at people. Uh, essentially what those guys do right there. And then through here, you're going to get crag demons. This is where everybody goes if they're trying to make some gold down in Cavernam, assuming it's not farmed. These will be the hardest units down here, the most lucrative. They're not your standard demons, but a little bit more difficult maybe, just slightly definitely worth farming as you can see i'm just i'm demolishing it right now if you're aspect tier six or above i'd say this is a very viable farm for you and i'm not too worried about a fire aspect core by the way guys i know i got that in my pack a while ago and some of you are probably screaming at me to put that in the trap pouch 7k when you guys get to this point which you will fairly quickly 7k is not a big deal if some thief gets it from me good for him i made his day hopefully <laughs> But yeah, so that whole circle that I just walked through is the Crag Demon spawn. You'll get a, a couple more spots right down this way. In this section right here, you'll get a, a Yeti, an Avalanche guy maybe. The Yetis do go invisible, so they will take you by surprise. If you feel comfortable tanking more than one mob, that's great. Just be aware that there might be some lurking around ready to jump on you. Oh uh, yeah, when it comes to the crag demons, you're looking at about 800 to 1200 gold a kill. I'd say the average is 950. That range may be 1000. Same amount of regs. What is it? 175, some gems, high chance of magic items. And then uh, to highlight the boss rooms, if you guys want to take a look at my map here, mini boss room over here where my mouse is now. Main boss entrance up here as well. So I'll show you how to get to the main boss room. There's two ways you can get in there. This is one of them. Uh, the other one was the way I ran up into this location. Okay, so here's your arch fiend. Here's your uh, tree guy. There you go. Slam the ground. Try to AOE me. Did quite a little bit of damage there. <laughs> oh, now you're on a YouTube video, my friend. What's your name? You're getting a shout out. Uh, Wolfheart. All right, Wolfheart. I'll let you know before I end the video. But yeah, walking avalanche, 400 gold. Pretty easy to kill. Uh, should be one more Archfiend spawned up here, and then the main boss room right here. I don't normally go into the details of the bosses, uh, but for this one, he does a lot of poison, AoE, and apparently he's up. Ooh, all right, guys. Well, I may be doing a boss here in a second. Um, so, yeah, I may have to cut the video a little bit short, but I'm going to get to that in a moment. Let everybody know. Natural Cav main boss up now. Hopefully I can get some guildmates in here, clear that, and uh, have a good end of the video. But yeah, guys, so what's on the list next is Ossuary, Shadow Spire Cathedral, and Mount Petrum. If you're curious about any of those, leave a comment below. Let me know which one you want to see next. I'm leaning Mount Petrum. The one I'm most interested in doing is Ossuary, and the one that I think will have the most value is SSC. So just let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll hop right on it for you. Other than that, guys, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.